how to make a school management system using WordPress. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use and build a website for your school and how you can manage that as well. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So as you can see, this is my dashboard over here. This is my WordPress dashboard. First things first, you're going to need to have a WordPress website and a dashboard. You're going to need hosting and stuff like that. Once you have everything set up, once you have everything ready, let's go on and get to the building of our website. So first things first, we're going to go over here onto the left side. We're going to come over here into appearance and we're going to click on appearance. And as you can see, we have a bunch of different themes over here. And the theme that we're looking for is called Astra. So this is right here. This is the theme that we have over here. And we're going to click on theme uh, details. And over here, we have the details for this theme and we're going to click on the starter templates for this theme astra has a bunch of different templates around 160 or 150 plus templates that we can use so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here at the top and we're going to search for school all right we have a bunch of different options over here we need to have a free theme for school so as you can see this one looks pretty good all right so we're going to click on school for this one and we're going to upload a logo over here all right so as you can see to find a logo what we'll do is we're going to go over to canva.com or we're going to go over here into the uh logo maker we're going to choose the uh squarespace logo maker all right we're going to go ahead and create a logo from squarespace it's a free logo you can pretty much do it all right so let's go ahead and click on get started what we have is basically education all right so we're going to click on next we have, you know, a bunch of different options. We're going to skip this one. You just want a logo. All right. So I guess that didn't work. So what we'll do is we're going to create a logo over here on Canva as well. Maybe we go back over here, Squarespace. All right. So over here, you can add in the name of your school. So I'm going to say like, you know, Eden Rock. So we have a bunch of different ones over here. Then we can add like a star. You know we have a bunch of different ones as well we can add a wine one but that would look pretty weird so i think this one looked pretty nice we'll just center it over here yeah this one looks nice so yeah we'll just go ahead and save the logo all right so once we have the logo we'll go just go back and we'll upload our logo real quick all right and it should be over here here we go we'll click on open select that it's a white png logo we'll just select that okay we should have you know added a black one instead so let me just go ahead and download the black version of this logo yeah let me just remove that and upload another one real quick this time a black one i thought the white one would look good apparently not all right the black one looks good now we'll just click on continue and now we'll change the overall theme of the website as well we'll go with blue yeah we'll go with blue and black yeah this one looks good okay and then we can choose the uh, fonts of it as well and once we have that we just simply click on continue and then we'll just click on submit and build my website and then just wait a couple of seconds for it to install a website you know it's going to install the themes the plugins and fonts and etc all the things that it needs for the website so i'm going to pause the video right now and i will continue it in a second and as you can see the website has been installed we'll just go ahead and click on view your website right it took 40 seconds and boom as you can see this is how it looks like so we've already you know changed the logo so that's pretty good so now let's go ahead and take a look at this website and uh, it looks pretty amazing it looks really professional and uh, yeah it's amazing yeah so now let's go ahead and give it a little bit of tweaks and you know nicks and tweaks over here and there so that we can make it our own so as we said let's go ahead and edit with elementor over here you can choose your other editor as well such as a wordpress website builder itself but we're going to choose the uh elementor as well so over here you can choose the background image you can choose the uh, header option over here so as you can see this is how it looks like we can go ahead and edit this out so for example if you wanted to you know edit this uh, part of the website just simply come over here as you can see this section will pop up and you can go ahead and click on style you can change the background image you can add like a gradient effect to it you know you can maybe like add a transition as well it all depends on you and whenever you make a change click on update so that the update has been saved all right save draft and once that's done then go 
and down below and start editing other parts of the website as well you can add other widgets as well you can add like uh you know other sections as well you have your space divider you have your heading over here forms posts you know all of these stuff that as you can see over here this is the basic ones you know and once you have done that just simply exit you're over here to simply click on exit to dashboard and don't worry your website will be saved once you click on the update button and you can go back to your dashboard and there you go you have your website ready and once that's done what you can do next is you can go ahead and uh, you know you can view the website over here but for now we're going to leave it at that for now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the plugin section we're going to click on add new plugin all right now this is the main part of this video once you have you know your website you've created a website now what we can do is we have to add a few bunch of different plugins so the first plugin is called school management and uh, let me just see over here so as you can see this is the plugin right here school management system you know by wps school press team so we're just going to click on install all right wait a couple of seconds for it to be installed and once it's installed we're simply going to go ahead and activate it and boom and there you go it's activated all right and once you have added it as you can see this is how it looks like over here and over here on the left side you can see you have wp school press over here now over here you have your dashboard you have your messages you have your students teachers parents classes you have everything you need for your website so let's go over here into the dashboard real quick and this is going to be the dashboard for your school system so you have your number of students over here your number of teachers number of parents number of classes events over here as you can see you have events exams holidays uh, you have attendances you have your classes events notification transport general settings as well like everything you will possibly need is going to be here so let's go ahead and add a teacher real quick all right as you can see we're going to create a new teacher i'll click on create new and over here we're going to add in the profile picture for that teacher we're going to choose the gender their name their middle name their last name their birthday their blood group phone number qualifications their address and everything else and once that's done we'll click on submit and we'll click on next and that's how you basically add in a teacher so as you can see there's a lot of things to do so we're gonna say like miss max over here we're gonna say johnson over here mr johnson all right let's just say he was born back in 1972 and the 23rd of july all right blood group's gonna be o positive phone number is gonna be this qualification is gonna be phd and once that's done click on next i have to add in the address once that's next we're gonna confirm password as well over here you can add in the account information for that person and you can add in the school details so that they can log in into the uh, you know wps school system and they can go ahead and move on so that's how you basically do it now let's go ahead and add a student real quick you know we're going to click on create new student the process is going to be exactly the same first name last name middle name you know phone number blood groups you know we have to add in their cities their parental addresses their parent details you know account information and stuff like that so once everything is done you can add in different classes as well you will have classes subjects you know subject mark fields marks exams timetable like everything you will possibly need is going to be available in this plugin so you don't have to worry about that once everything is done you can just go ahead and leave it and you know once your website is live you're good to go so that's how you basically do it that's how you create a you know school system for your website in wordpress so if you have any questions let me know in the comment section so below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that thank you guys for watching and until next time goodbye